Hey everyone, this is Nicole from KenHub, and in this tutorial, we'll be looking at the veins of the cardiovascular system. So as you may already be aware, the cardiovascular system is responsible for transporting and recycling the blood around the body. Carried in the blood are a range of substances including oxygen for respiration, nutrients for our cells, and waste products that have to be removed for cells to function properly. You can therefore see why the cardiovascular system is so vital for our bodies to work normally. The cardiovascular system comprises of the heart, highlighted here, and the blood vessels, of which there are two main types. So generally the vessels that carry oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the rest of the body are known as arteries while the vessels that carry deoxygenated blood from different parts of the body back to the heart are known as veins. There are a couple of exceptions to this rule, which include veins that do carry oxygenated blood to various regions of the body, but we're not going to worry about these for this particular tutorial. In this tutorial, we're just going to focus on the veins that carry deoxygenated blood, which mainly consist of the major veins of the body. But of course, if you wanted to learn about those other veins, such as the veins that carry oxygenated blood, please be sure to check out our other tutorials covering these on our website at kenhub.com. So before we look at any veins in particular, it's important that we're aware of what a vein actually is and how they differ from the arteries in their structure and their anatomical arrangements. So we're just going to put our model to the side for a moment and bring in this lovely schematic diagram to demonstrate some of the layers of the veins and their relationship to the skin and where they are in the body. So as I mentioned, this diagram here roughly represents a cross section through the skin. And up top, we can see the superficial veins, which are of course located just beneath the integument, otherwise known as the skin, and between the layers of superficial fascia. We then have the perforating veins, which cross the superficial fascia. And you can see that in blue just on our right here. And these perforating veins drain into the deep veins. So one little thing about the deep veins, sometimes the deep veins are arranged so that they accompany an artery, and these are known as the veni comitantes of that artery, and they pretty much piggyback on the artery's pulse so that the blood can be moved through the veins. So another way of saying that is that they ride on either side of the artery, as you can see in this image here, and they use the pulse of the arteries to pump the blood back up towards the heart. And this is because the blood pressure in veins tends to be a lot lower than in the arteries, and so sometimes they need a little help. Also distributed throughout the veins are structures known as valves. And these prevent the blood from moving in the wrong direction, mostly back down towards the earth as we want the blood to be heading back towards the heart, further helping the blood to move through the veins efficiently. So a useful point to note is that during this tutorial I'll be mentioning the tributaries of the major veins and these are basically just the smaller veins that drain into a larger vein as you can see in our diagram on our right. So as we mentioned earlier, in this tutorial we'll be introducing the major veins of the body, starting furthest away from the heart in the lower limbs, followed by the abdomen and pelvis, then by the upper limbs, followed by the head and the neck, and finally we'll finish back up in the thorax where the blood eventually returns to the heart. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at kenhub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.